Jochen Schiller, Chair of Computer Systems and Telematics and Chief Information Officer, Freie Universität Berlin. Can we control the complexity of our networks? Okay, hello and welcome. Thanks a lot for this very good introduction into networks. I had to smile hearing about trace route and finding terrorists. This is completely bizarre. Okay. Uh, the question I'm asking is, can we control this complexity? So we saw, oh, networks, they look pretty complex. So what is this complexity? I'm not a mathematician, I'm an engineer. So I know complexity has something to do with number of nodes. We know more than 7 billion mobile nodes, billions of fixed nodes. There might be 30, 40, 20. We don't know billions of nodes in the Internet of Things. So yes, it has to do something with the number of nodes, I guess. Then. I guess there's also the topology. Well, we know it's partially meshed, and maybe we'll hear about a little bit more about the topology. We also heard that, well, pretty much it follows the money and business models, but to be honest, we don't know the overall topology of the networks, because suddenly someone connects some industrial control system, we don't know the overall topology. Does this matter? Well, it depends. Well, com if you compare this very simple on the left-hand side ARPA network, this is how the internet starts, and a snapshot of today. Okay, traffic patterns. Well, we have pretty much everything you can imagine. A sensor node that wants to reliably transmit every 10 minutes in maybe real-time a sensor data, or you download a file, a movie, or whatever. So many different traffic patterns. Stabilities. Well, we have spontaneous networking, like you enter a Starbucks and you connect to the network, or you have some kind of spontaneous communication, or you have five nines. That means a downtime of less than six minutes per year. Compare this to your smartphone, to your home network. We also have a lot of legacy that influences the complexity. Think of industrial control systems. We have software and hardware there that lives for 10, 20, sometimes 30 years. But also in current new code, we simply take over old code. Maybe you heard of Heartbleed, all these problems. Why do we have viruses? Why do we have certain effects on computers? Because sometimes it's so convenient. Just take over old code. So this also contributes to the complexity of our networks. Well, and then in the end, do we know everything? Do we know everything? Do we know all the parameters? I don't press anything. <laughs> <laughs> you see, even the complexity of a presentation is pretty high, and without pressing and doing anything. So do we know all the parameters? There might be something political, there might be some disruptive technologies we don't know. And this is just an example, a snapshot between banks and industry in Germany. And these are the mentioned, already mentioned, autonomous systems. So that's a snapshot of a small part of the internet. Might be different tomorrow, who knows? So, but we all know it, everything converges towards the internet. Why? We have this, since 15, 16 years, we coined the term of this narrow waste. Narrow waste, everything uses the internet protocol. Today we have a similar narrow waste at the HTTP protocol. Everything goes via the web. So we see mobile network, fixed networks, classical internet, everything goes there. But we also see New technologies, Internet of Things, industrial control systems, everything, medical devices. We heard autonomous cars, or oh, they are better than humans because they do not fall asleep. Yes, but you can easily attack them today. We have many examples for this. Okay, so what happens if there's a blackout? Hmm. Have fun if there's a software bug. Just imagine a software bug in one of the core software systems of the main routers of the Internet, more or less one big company, so we have a big problem. What if we have a hacker attack? We have completely de uh, destroyed steel, net steel plants in Germany by hacker attacks. What happens then? The problem is that, well, this is the internet, top uh, state of the art. No, no, if you ask people, not really, and not that many really know how to bootstrap the complete internet if there's a real serious situation. So many can cause malfunctions, not, not the big issue, but how to bootstrap the whole internet? Something really goes wrong. So that is one of the problems. So the question was, can we control the complexity? The clear answer is no. If we continue to connect just because it fits somehow. Oh, the car can be connected to the internet. Oh, it fits by the protocols. But the problem is, the internet is not like the power system where say, voltage, okay, current, okay, then it works. Many new applications, but do we know the side effects? Yes, we can regain control of our networks if we <coughs> know what we do. The problem is right now, we don't use this classical engineering principle, know what you do. Unfortunately, we ignore these basic rules, and unfortunately, quite often, there's no strong business case for doing solid engineering, but a strong business case for simply connecting the network because it fits somehow. Thanks a lot. <laughs>